Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, Summer 2018, Question 11. Use binomial expansions to show that the square root of 1 plus 4x over 1 minus x is approximately equal to 1 plus 5 over 2x minus 5 eighths x squared. So the first thing to do here is to rewrite our root in indices form. So we've got 1 plus 4x to the power of a half times by 1 minus x to the power of negative a half. We can now do a binomial expansion on both of these. So let's start with 1 plus 4x to the half. So using our formula, we get 1 for the first term. Our second term is our power of a half times by the 4x. And our third term is the power of a half times by the power minus 1. So minus a half all over 2 times by the square of 4x. Simplifying this gives us 1 plus 2x minus 2x squared. Now note that our answer, we only need to go up to x squared, so we're going to stop there. The 1 minus x to a minus a half, we use the same formula, so our first term is 1. Our second term is the power of minus a half times by the minus x. And our third term, the power of minus a half times by minus a half take away 1, all over 2 times by the square of minus x, which when simplified gives us 1 plus a half x plus 3 eighths x squared. Now to get to our answer, we're multiplying these two answers together. So we're going to cross multiply our brackets, which gives us 1 plus a half x plus 3 eighths x squared plus 2x plus x squared minus 2x squared. Note that I haven't cross multiplied everything because we only need to go up to x squared. So for example, I haven't done the minus 2x squared times by the half x because that would give us an x cubed, which we don't need. So we've ignored those terms. Simplifying this gives us 1 plus 5 over 2x minus 5 eighths x squared as required. We now need to give a reason why the student should not use x equals a half. Well, we've got 1 plus 4x to the power of a half in our question and we're using a binomial expansion on this. So by the rules of the expansions, that 4x, the modulus of that has to be smaller than 1, which means modulus of x has to be smaller than a quarter, but half is bigger than a quarter, so we can't use x equals a half. Now for part c, we're going to substitute x equals 1 over 11 into what we've just found to obtain an approximation to root 6. So Substituting an 11th in, we get this. Note how I've put 1 11th into both sides of the equation. Simplifying. Simplifying again gives us root 3 over 2 is equal to 1183 over 968. Now we want to find an approximation for root 6, but if we look on the left hand side, we've got root 3 over 2. Well, that's equal to half of root 6. So if we double our approximation for root 3 over 2, we get 1183 over 484. And there's our answer. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.